Now, when we measure the neck, and then what we see here is that there is premature breakdown of these joints. There has to be a reason why this joint is affected and not the ones above and below. Now, this nerve can also be measured, and this is the second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth segment. This nerve right here goes down and controls the function of your shoulder, even into your arms and hands. So if that nerve's irritated, it disconnects the brain from controlling those muscles and tissues. But now, if we only took an x-ray of those areas and then did not look, see, remember, we only took the x-ray from yeah. the front. Mm -hmm. So then, with further investigation, what we saw is that this was going on below the neck. Mm -hmm. So if we only focused on your symptom and didn't get to the underlying contributing cause, we wouldn't have known how to treat this. And then when we look at the lower back, there are also responses in your lower spine that when we look at these areas, whenever the bones start to slip forward, they're creating an unstable environment because the neck and the posture, when looking at your body from the side, you've lost all those natural curves and then your lower back compensates and the bones can't hold up the integrity of your body. So that's where from the front of the spine, we're working always on making the spine move over this way, move over this way, and over this way. So when you lay on your stomach, I work on these muscles, these muscles, and these muscles. If we work on both, it's gonna cause further rotation of those joints. So these are the pesky guys that are pulling those bones into that direction, and that's what we're gonna work on. So it'll be really cool.